20 years ago, if you'd have told me I'd be spending the day walking on cobblestone roads and staring at thousand-year-old castles, I'd instantly be bored. Now I find myself seeking out these old buildings, going off the beaten path just to get a glimpse of something I have no idea how someone could build without modern technology. And if medieval castles and churches are your thing, then Portugal is the place to be. Today we're going to zigzag our way from the beautiful city of Sintra to Oporto and be amazed by three of Portugal's most famous locations. My heads have been disguised higher than the clouds are. I like to look up at the stars and wonder how far. From what I hear about a billion babies are delivered every day. It's like the planet is a clown car. I know it bon dia, Will Vlog viewers, and, and, and welcome to Abydos. We have just left Sintra, where you last saw us, and we have headed north about an hour. We're in a little town called Abydos. The cool thing about Abydos is it's inside of castle walls. You can sort of see the walls over there. Uh, there's a there's Abydos Castle here. It's just a quaint little colorful town. I was reading up on the history of it. That it's a long history, like before like the 1100s. So just Google it if you're interested in know, knowing more about Abydos. But it's a very cool little town. I think there's like 3,100 people who live inside of the city walls. There's actually a couple of hostels um, here, or a couple of hotels here as well. You can actually stay in the castle, Abydos for like 800 bucks a night. So we didn't Easy do that. Money. We didn't do that. But we are checking out Abydos today. It's probably just a couple hours stop. Maybe grab a bite to eat. And then we're gonna check out two more spots. Like I said, when we left Sintra, we found out just recently that there are seven wonders of Portugal. So we're gonna try to check out as many as we can. I think we can hit six of them. So on our way to Porto, we're going to probably check out two more. All right, so let's go check out Abydos and uh, see what else we have and eat maybe. See what else we have in store. Minding my own business, knock at the door. Who is it? Be right there, one minute. Gotta get up and go get it. Got white hair, eyes are crazy. Now most men. Just a little more information on Abydos. Um, it's a classic Portuguese fortified town. What you're seeing right now is just everything with inside of the castle walls. But outside of Abydos, there's actually quite a few resorts and spas. It's a pretty popular tourist destination. But very close as well are two towns. One of them is called Peniche, and the other one is Nazaire. Nazaire is known for massive waves. They have 80 to 100 foot waves. Somebody just broke the Guinness Book of World Records for surfing one of them. And then the other town that I mentioned, Peniche, you should Google it. it is really really beautiful it's just unfortunately we didn't get to see them on our trip all right well vlog viewers we left Abydos traveled about 30 minutes north and now we are in the town called Alco Baca which is a combination of Alca Alco and Baca which are the two rivers and this town is where the two rivers meet in Portugal what the town is most known for though is the Alco Baca and I assume I'm pronouncing that correct <laughs> probably not but the Alco Baca monastery which is right behind us. It's one of the seven wonders of Portugal as well. And it was founded by the in the medieval times by the very first Portuguese king. So let's go check out Alcobaca Monastery. The town of Alcobaca became popular because of the first king of Portugal. He decided he wanted to build a church to celebrate a conquest over the Moors in 1147. This church later evolved into the monastery you're seeing now, the Monastery of Alcobaca. It, like many of the buildings in Portugal, have this Gothic design that for some reason I just really, really like. Alcobaca also has a castle. It was the video that you saw at the very beginning of this video that overlooks the monastery. The castle's no longer there, it's just the remnants. Another cool thing about this monastery and a lot of the monasteries in Portugal is that they're free to go into. Outside of Lisbon and, Portu and Porto, you don't have to pay to get into a lot of these. So it's really amazing and it's really, really accessible. 
Now, only a 20 minute drive from Alcobaca is one of, if not the most impressive buildings in all of Portugal, Batola Monastery. It is a massive, massive building and also amazing Gothic design. And the attention to detail in this building is, is quite unreal. It's noted to be one of the most important buildings in Portugal. It was originally built to thank the Virgin Mary for the Portuguese victory over the Castilians in 18, or sorry, 1385, and it took over 100 years to build. It spanned the reign of seven kings, and they finished construction in 1517. It's now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it truly is an amazing feat of architecture. You could easily see all three of these cities in a day trip from Lisbon or from Porto. It just made sense for us to see these on our way to Porto. And if you ever see me in the streets, remind me to tell you a story about a vehicle issue that I had and a man walking a cat in Alcobaca. All right, Will Vlog viewers, that does it. That's quick, it feels quick. Hopefully the video wasn't that quick. That's three spots today, we went to Abidos, saw the Abidos Castle in the town of Abidos, which is a really nice cute. little town. It's very cute, quaint little town. Then we went to Alcobaca. Alcobaca, yes, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And we saw the Alcobaca Monastery. And we also saw the remnants of a castle, but really just a viewpoint to see the monastery more. Abby stopping to take some more photos. And then our last stop was here at Batala Monastery, which is probably my favorite of the day as far as as far as monasteries go. How about you? What's your favorite today, Abby? Between this and the other one? I don't know. Yeah. The other one was pretty cool too. It was really tall. They're both tall. I don't know how they built them without cranes. Man. Need some more insight into that. Man, the in-depth explanation you're giving. They're tall. They're shaped like a building. Uh, yeah. I don't know. They were all very cool. Abido, it's hard. I don't know. I, I like the castle. The castle is cool too, okay. Maybe it's, now the more that I talk through, it's harder to decide, but as far as looks, I think that this is the most aesthetically pleasing to me. Yeah. Looks the coolest, and it's massive. It's just a big, big building in general. Oh, this is awesome. That's gonna do it. Those are three of the seven wonders of Portugal. We are off to Oporto next, where we're going to explore. I don't really know what we're gonna see there. Probably try some port. I mean, we haven't had any port since we've been here. Man, I don't we've been here. Port, I don't want to drink it other places. That's true. That's true. But that's going to do it. I'm Willard Jackson. This is Abby Blackbeard Harris. This has been the Will Vlog. You're welcome, and we'll see you next time. Arr. My heads have been the skies higher than the clouds are. I like to look up at the stars and wonder how far. From what I hear about a billion babies are delivered every day, it's always like the planet is a clown car. I know we probably shouldn't work, but we all.